Yo yo, and welcome back to the video. About 5.30 in the morning, and what I was going to do was I was going to do a little bit of my morning drink that I do. I've mentioned it in a few different videos, so I figured I'm going to go and do it in this video just to show you guys kind of what it is. Um, let me see if I could actually move this up. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Cool. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you all a little bit of my morning drink. We've got some organic pure leaf aloe. We also have some organic lemon juice. I like to use pure lemon, not from concentrate. I just feel better from that. And we also have some liquid chlorophyll. So check this out. You're gonna go two thirds aloe. You're gonna do just a splash of the lemon. If you do too much of it, it gets a little too sour. And it actually could dysregulate your pH. And then you're going to do two little dollops of liquid chlorophyll. Now, if you're a man and you wake up in the morning and you are not going to the bathroom regularly, or your stomach has a tendency to hurt through the day, whether it's through acid indigestion or acid reflux or anything like that, this drink could probably be supportive for you. And also getting something that regulates your pH into your body first thing in the morning, I cannot suggest it enough. Give it a shot. Let me know how you feel after. It's not something that's going to taste amazing. But when you drink it, it does lead to feeling better. If you're like me, who has struggled with things like that before, strongly suggest giving it a shot. Doing a little bit of my morning routine today. I was actually chatting with a few guys in the program that I work with them in. And I was kind of letting them know how when you are working towards something, whether it be fitness, eating healthy, like instilling a new habit, any of those things, it's always important in my opinion to make things easy and accessible. And what does that actually mean? Realistically, it means having things like your journal and or the books that you're reading in the morning or whenever you're reading Make them readily available because ideally, I'll give the example. We had a man that was sharing with me how uh, basically his journal that he does in the morning, he'd put it on the other side of his bed. And although it's seemingly easy just to reach across the bed and grab it, that bit of resistance made it easier for him to not do it and to say, oh, I'll, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll do it in the morning or I'll do it later on. Those I do it later ons, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow, are the things that are keeping you from accomplishing what you really want to accomplish. So for myself, I love having this morning growth formula. I do one thing that grounds me, one thing that challenges me, and one thing that stimulates my mind. Now as far as grounding, I enjoy journaling. I just do a simple gratitude journal. I write three, th three things I'm grateful for and then an affirmation five times. And what that sounds like is just write three simple gratitudes. You know, I'm grateful that I woke up this morning in a home. I am grateful in the career that I have, and I am grateful for the opportunity to forgive in what feels um, ethical to me. And then at the bottom, I mean, I'll literally share what I wrote yesterday. I wrote, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. You'd be surprised the power of giving yourself an affirmation in the morning and doing something that grounds you. Now, as far as something that stimulates my mind, I've got three different books over here. One is Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Another one is The Seven Secrets to Healthy and ha Happy Relationships 
by Marie's Emera. And then the last one is the good book. This is the Bible. I'm currently rereading Proverbs. And then the thing that I do that's challenging in the morning soon will be the cold plunge because I'm sure that I will post the vlog mentioning that probably today. And today, I'm going to actually take y'all along with me to get tattooed. Today, I'm getting tattooed by my friend, John Montgomery at Newport Tattoo. Now, he's a renowned tattoo artist, and I've actually known about him since I was 18. And it's a really surreal moment to be able to get on his table. So, I mean, he's tattooed guys like from Avenged Sevenfold, a bunch of guys in the hardcore scene. He's just, he's been around for a very long time. I have a lot of respect for someone that has tenure in that way. I'm getting the whole front side of my calf finished, so my leg will be completely covered. And I'm excited for it, mainly because of what it represents to me. I'm not one of those people that just gets tattoos to get tattoos. Mine have always been intentional, and they've always had a reason as to why I'm doing them. And this one holds a special place in my heart, and I will show it to y'all once it's done. But with that being said, I'm going to do my morning routine. I'm going to get ready for the gym because I'm going to do a quick workout this morning. And then I'm going to head to Newport Beach. Appreciate y'all being here. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.